Okay, so hi there folks, we're now on our next video in the introduction to statistics. And in this video, we're going to now define um, statistics. statistics. What is the definition of statistics and then what are the two main branches of statistics? Okay, namely um, descriptive and inferential. So again, my source in this and the content of this videos is a handout created by Dr. Sweet Rose Dunaris. So first, what is the definition of statistics? So uh, maybe you have, you have heard of what statistics is. Um, maybe you have um, seen how statistics um, is being done or being analyzed. But what's the definition of statistics? So there are five main words that must be done in order. Okay, in order to, in order for us to understand what statistics is. So, um, let me lay it down to you. So statistics is a branch of science. Some may call it a branch of mathematics. That's okay. But there are some um, people that want to argue that statistics is not really a branch of mathematics, but instead it's a separate discipline. That is, um, some would really like to argue that statisticians are not, are not um, in, in, in entirety uh, a mathematician. Okay, just like accountants are not are not um, entirely a mathematician. The only that accountants use numbers as their language. Okay, but they're not mathematicians. Likewise, some would like to argue that statisticians also use the language of numbers, but they're not mathematicians. So, um, to be safe, let's call it a branch of science. Okay, though in some books you may see it as a branch of mathematics. Okay, which deals with what? There are five words, like I said. First word, collection. Okay, it deals with the collection. Organization is the second. Presentation is the third. Analysis is the fourth. And interpretation is the fifth of data. And we want to specify what kind of data we would like to specify it to be numerical data. So again, what is statistics? It's a branch of science or mathematics, which deals with the collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. Okay, so that's what what the definition of statistics is. Some may call it a body of techniques or procedures dealing with the collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of information that can be stated numerically. Okay, um, also, it must be stated that Statistics is the backbone of research, or if you want to be specific, it's the backbone of quantitative research. Again, statistics is the backbone of quantitative research. Okay, so again, uh, maybe these five words, we can make an acronym out of it, which I always do with my students. So we have collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation. We can write it as COPAI, C-O-P-A-I, C-O-P-A-I, COPAI of data. Okay, so statistics is a branch of science that deals with copy of data. C, collection, O, organization, P, presentation, A, analysis, and I is interpretation. Okay, again, it's the backbone of quantitative research. Now, we want to also talk about the two branches of statistics, or at least the two main branches of statistics. Okay, so what are the two main branches of statistics? So we have, actually, um, first of them, is what we call the descriptive statistics and second is the inferential statistics uh, maybe you can you can define it on your own from the words themselves descriptive and inferential <laughs> okay so let's let's discuss them briefly after this so let's start first with the descriptive statistics so what is descriptive statistics uh it deals with Organizing and summarizing observations so that they are easier to comprehend. Okay, again, organizing and summarizing observations. Again, from the word itself, descriptive, it is used to describe, okay, it is used to describe the basic features of data. Describe, okay, used to describe the basic features of data. Also, it provides us a simple or provides us simple summaries about the sample and their measures. Okay, a sample and their measures. Okay, so I'll give you an example of where descriptive statistics is being used. Um, say, for instance, the census of households conducted by the Philippine Statistics Authority, the PSA, every five years represents an example of how descriptive statistics are generated. The information that they are gathering is concerning gender or sex, 
race, income, etc. Okay, it is compiled to describe the population of the Philippines. Okay, it is compiled. Okay, and uh, you know we 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 describe and present. Okay, the the population of the Philippines at that given time. Okay, so again from the from the definition of statistics, we have five words there: collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation. Descriptive descriptive statistics. Um, the part of which it has it 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 concerns the collection, organization, presentation, and analysis of data. Okay, so this is our part of descriptive statistics. So if you want to go ahead, what are the things that we'll be talking about when we talk about descriptive statistics? Um, using tables and graphs, those are descriptive statistics. The measures of location or centrality, mean, median, and mode, those are descriptive statistics. Measures of variability or dispersion in some books, range, variance, standard deviation, those are descriptive statistics. Okay, so uh, those things we first collect, we organize, we present, and then we analyze. So descriptive statistics. Next is the second branch of statistics, it's also called the inferential statistics from the word infer. Okay, so from that, maybe you can define it a little bit. Um, it deals with the formulation of inferences. Okay, inferences. So when say when you infer, somehow you conclude, right? That's the synonym of infer. About conditions that exist in a study of a sample drawn from a population. So um, when we talk about inferential statistics, we'll be having some sampling here, which will be talk, uh, will be talked about in the future. Um, we're going to have some samples, and and these samples are is uh, representative of a population, and then we're going to study in these samples, and then we're going to, we're going to conclude and tell that this population does do it. Okay, so um, in the future it will make sense. Um, it tackles about our making inferences or drawing conclusions from the data which is presented to us. Um, it, again, it generates conclusions. So um, opinion polls, for example, and television rating systems present some use of inferential statistics. To give you a certain example, a limited number of people are polled during an election, and then this information is used to describe the voters as a whole. So if you can see um, certain certain companies, um, SWS surveys, maybe that's that's familiar in your in your ears. Um, Pulse, Pulse, Pulse Asia surveys. So, um, actually, they they're not they're not they're not um, asking, or they're not sur surveying. They're not having a census for everyone. They're only asking certain people, and then they represent that the whole Philippines is like, you know, is like um, having this opinion, okay, which which they flash in the TV shows, um, and that's one example of inferential statistics because they they make use of a little bit of the population, not the whole population, but a little bit of it. That's what we call a sample, and then conclude it as if they are um, questioning or surveying the whole population. So that's inferential statistics. Um, specifically, um, interpretation falls under inferential statistics. In interpretation, that's in the part of the definition of statistics. Okay, so to give you certain examples of what to look ahead when we talk about inferential statistics, um, we're going to have... Um, inferences, like generating conclusions, hypothesis testing. Okay, we test a hypothesis if it is true or not. Uh, these are when the tools, the statistical tools, come in, um, like t-test, okay, z-test. What else? ANOVA, chi-square, and many more. Actually, Pearson R. So these things um, help make us infer um, things from a sample and tell it. Uh, that this happens in the population. So we'll be talking about more of this in the last part or the second part of our of our class and of our course. And then in the first part we're going to talk about descriptive statistics more. And yeah, that's it for this video um, about the two branches of statistics. And we have also talked about the definition of what statistics is. Again, we just need to take hold of that five letters. Okay, uh, let's make a, mnemo a mnemonic of that. Copay. Okay, copy collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. And then again, we have two branches of statistics: descriptive and inferential. Okay, so so that you'll you'll not get you you'll not get um, confused inferential. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye.